F-16 EF Block 60 Desert Falcon is a special version designed at the request of the United Arab Emirates, it is the most advanced variant of the F-16 fighter line. The fighter is equipped with state-of-the-art equipment, far surpassing the rest of the F-16 models in the world. The F-16 Fighting Falcon began its life as a fighter in the United States Air Force in 1978, and other than the F-15 Eagle which is two years older, it remains the oldest fighter in the world, that is still in production today. The Falcon has seen more airframes produced than any other fourth-generation fighter, being the most widely used fighter in American service today with other leading operators, including South Korea, Israel, Turkey, and Egypt. The F-16 EF variant is arguably the most capable of the series, which was intended to serve in the US Air Force as a successor. While this next generation of Falcons was never purchased by the Pentagon, largely to reduce costs and in anticipation of acquiring the fifth generation F-35, which after much delay joined the fleet from August, 2016, the F-16 EF otherwise known as F-16 Block 60, was specially developed for the United Arab Emirates Air Force, known as Desert Falcon. Development began in the 1990s and the first Desert Falcon flew in December of 2003, 17 months before the first aircraft was delivered in May of 2005. 80 airframes would be built including 55 single-seat F-16E, and 25 twin-seat F-16F. The ambitiously upgraded Falcons would gain no further clients, although the airframe was used as the basis to develop the F-21, to offer the Indian Air Force in 2019 which, although promising, never moved past a conceptual stage. The F-16EF was one of the first fighters to integrate an ESA radar, following a small experimental unit of F-15s from 2000, and the Japanese-American F-2 which entered service from 2002. It was also one of the first to integrate any kind of phased array radar for air-to-air -air combat, with the USSR having first fielded them in 1981, and France in 2001 as PASA radars. These sensors provided overwhelming situational awareness advantages, paving the way for a new generation of long-range weapons to be introduced, as well as providing new options for electronic warfare and being far less susceptible to jamming. Another notable feature of the fighter was the integration of the F-110G-132 General Electric turbofan which put out 142 kN of thrust, 13 kN more than the F-16C's F-110G-129. The engine was the most powerful ever integrated onto a Western fourth-generation fighter, with a comparable performance to the AL-41 powering the Russian Su-35. It helped compensate for the Desert Falcon's greater weight due to the addition of more subsystems. The Desert Falcon's cockpit used large flat panel displays, and a wide heads-up display with holographic video projection, typical of 21st century fighters that would follow it, but revolutionary for its time. Other notable features of the F-16EF included the Falcon Edge Integrated Electronic Warfare Suite, which provided defensive countermeasures and greater situational awareness with active jamming, passive electronic support and enhanced situational awareness of radio frequency threats. The fighter was also one of the first in the Western world to use an internal FLIR targeting system, the ANAQ-32 which included a targeting pod derived from the ANAQ-28. Although the F-16 was designed as a lighter and cheaper counterpart to the F-15 Eagle during the Cold War, the F-16 EF Desert Falcon's high sophistication, allowed it to combine the low maintenance needs and operational costs, inherent to the F-16 airframe, with an actual advantage over heavier aircraft, such as the Israeli F-15I or Saudi F-15C which, although using higher end high maintenance airframes, were far less sophisticated.
The F-16EF was very likely the most capable fighter deployed by a Middle Eastern country when it entered service in 2005, and cost the UAE far less than fielding a fleet of heavyweights, such as F-15s would have. Although the fighter is not considered state-of-the-art today, as F-16s generally are seen as increasingly obsolete, it arguably still provides a much better capability than rivals for the contract, namely the French Rafale and pan-European Eurofighter, would have, a notable example being that they did not include AESA radars. Although the Desert Falcon's avionics are increasingly behind the current standards, with even the F-16 Block 7072 currently in production, being far superior, its more advanced airframe and particularly its use of a more powerful engine, gives the airframe more potential if modernized to a similar standard. The way the program was conducted provides important lessons regarding how joint development efforts, can succeed despite very significant differences in the sophistication of the two defense sectors and industrial bases pursuing them, with similar joint programs for specialized variants of fifth-generation fighters, expected to begin to emerge in the coming years.